Hey guys, Captain Sky here. I can't tell you enough how fun it's been this week. I mean, hasn't it been great? What's that? Well, you know, I've been to a lot of places, right? I mean, we were with the Roman officer doing crowd control. We were at Lazarus' tomb. Of course, don't forget we were in front of Pontius Pilate. Whew. And, of course, Golgotha. Well, today we're going to take a little bit of a break. I'd like to take a little break. I don't know about you, but I'm a little tired. So let's go out and, and, and do some, some fishing. What do you think? I mean, it sounds like the weather's going to be great. This is a good time to go fishing, isn't it? So let's go. Come on. Okay, say it with me. No matter where you are, trust God. And we went to a lot of places. But today, we're right here on the coast where the sun is shining and the waves are lapping. Today's true Bible story takes place a little while after Jesus came back to life. He's already appeared to some of his friends. Right now, we're going to catch up with those friends and see what they're doing. Now, most of them were fishermen by trade, that is, their job. That meant that they went out and they caught fish and they sold it. Have any of you been fishing or ever wanted to go fishing? You know, aside from being distant from each other, that was one of the things that was allowed during this whole pandemic. Not that many people took advantage of it. There were seven of Jesus' friends in our story. There was uh, Simon Peter and uh, Nathaniel and, uh, uh, well, a few others. Okay. Now, one night, Simon Peter decided to go fishing on the Sea of Galilee. Not far from the other places we visited this week, actually. His friend said, we'll come too. So they all climbed into their boat and out they went. They paddled hard and paddled and paddled out to the deepest part they could. And then they threw out the nets. But nothing happened. So they paddled into another location and they threw out their nets. And nothing happened. They fished there all night. Didn't catch a thing. Not a single fish. Can you imagine that? Now, with a fishing rod, I could understand that. This was a net. These people were professionals. They knew how to catch fish. Yet somehow, the fish just kept avoiding the net. We all fail sometimes even though we try really hard. And that's exactly what happened to Jesus' friends. They fished all night. Nothing. But as the sun was coming up, they saw a man over on the shore. And he called out, Hello! Have you caught anything? No! The man on the shore called, Throw out your net on the right-hand side of the boat, and you'll get some. So Jesus' friends did what the man suggested. So they threw it out, and guess what? Yeah, you're right. The fish did get into the net, but that wasn't what exactly happened. You see, this had happened before. Simon Peter recognized it. He pointed to the shore and said, Look, it's Jesus. And right then, he jumped out of the boat and swam to shore. Can you imagine that? Now, here in the Rocky Mountains, that's a little cold. Back there, maybe not so much. So he swam and he swam and he swam all the way back to shore, while unfortunately his friends were left with the net to drag to shore with their boat. When they got there, they found a nice roaring fire, and Jesus was gathering them around to have breakfast. Jesus said, bring some of those fish you just caught. Now, let's have some breakfast. And he served his friends fish and bread. That's the third time that Jesus had appeared to his friends since he had come back to life. 
and it reflected how he had managed to feed thousands with just bread and fish. And how many fish were there? 153 big fish. And the nets didn't even tear. <laughs> Amazing. You know, this week we've discovered that when Jesus is around, surprising things happen. Servants are healed. Dead men walk out of their tombs. A man who had never sinned is willing to die for our sins. And that same man comes back to life and even cooks breakfast for his friends. What will Jesus do next? Well, one thing I know is that he'll always be with us. And we can always trust him. And even though not long after this breakfast, he went back to heaven to be with his father, we know that one day he'll come for us. And if we believe in him, we can live with him forever. Remember, no matter where you are, trust God. Yep, that's a great lesson to learn. Wherever you are, trust God. It doesn't matter where we've been. It doesn't matter that we've been pretty much in our houses for who knows how long. I know I lost count. It doesn't matter that we can't get together this year for Vacation Bible School. Although, you know, it would be more fun, I have to admit. No matter where I am, no matter where you are, trust God. I'd like to take a moment really quick to thank uh, Miss Ashley and Miss Leanne for coordinating all of this. Of course, I, I couldn't do this without my main man, JT, in the office. Hey, JT. And I want to thank you guys. You guys have been such a blessing to me for so many years and many years to come, I hope. What do you think? See you next year. I hope so. This is Captain Sky, signing off. I don't know, but I've been told GBS is good as gold. Sound off. One, two, three, four. Trust God. Breaker, breaker into the black. This is Long Haul Preacher.